I'm Sasha Chua and today I'm focusing on the Emacs micro habit of switching windows. So working with multiple windows is very helpful because you can look at your source code, you can look at other parts of the same file or different files, maybe even your compilation output or whatever else, all at the same time. So uh, in standard Emacs, if you press Control X3, it splits your window vertically. Here I've, I use a custom function to also load the previous buffer instead of using the same buffer, and I'll show you that in a bit. Um, and you can use Control X2 to split the window below that. Now normally, um, well, by default, you can use Control XO to, uh, to jump around to different windows. But if you have several of these windows open, it can be a little time consuming to press Control X O multiple times. So um, I'm trying to get the hang of using a couple of packages to make window switching easier. The first one I'm going to demonstrate is Wind Move. So the Wind Move package allows you to change your window using arrow keys or whatever else you bind to the, the functions Wind Move Left, Wind Move Up, Right, and Down, and so forth. So here, for example, I've bound my Wind Move key map to a key chord combination YY. So if I type YY left, I jump from this to the window that's left of it. So if I type in a YY right, um, right, then I jump to the window that's to the right of it. And if I type YY down, then uh, I jump to the window below it. So WinMove gives you cursor keys uh, that you can use. It actually gives you functions that you can bind to cursor keys that are part of whatever key map that you like using. The other window switching function package that I'm trying to get a hang of is called Ace Window. I've found Ace Window to Control X O so that I'm forced to use it. And what Ace Window does is if you have well, if you have to only two windows open, it'll just switch to the other one. But if you have three or more windows open, when you type Control X O, it will show you a uh, character on the top left that you can type to jump to that window. So all you have to do is look at the you know red uh, in this case uh, uh, letter and type that. If I want to jump to this one, I can just type A and I'll jump to that window directly. If I want to jump to this window, I can type Control X O because that's my keyboard for shortcut for Ace Window and type O. I've actually customized these keyboard shortcuts for uh, because I use Dvorak, so uh, so there these are all characters that are on the home row. But by default, I think it'll give you A B C, uh, or you can customize it, and I'll show you that in a second as well. But where Ace Window might be really handy is you can give it different prefix arguments in order to uh, get it to do other things. So for example, if I want to uh, uh, take this window and put it into that window instead, so I want to slap them, passing Control U to uh, Ace Window, so Control U, Control X O in my case, and then selecting that window with A, swaps the two windows, which is great if you decide you want to focus on something in the, you know, a larger window or whatever. And if you want to delete a window, you can type Control U, Control U, so two prefix arguments, followed by your shortcut for Ace Window, so Control U, Control U, Control X O in this case, and if I want to delete this window, I can just type E. So why is that pretty cool? Well, in the past, I used to switch to the window uh, using several control XOs as necessary, then delete the window using control X zero, and then switch back to my previous window using enough control XOs to get me back. But if I can use ace window with control U control U to just delete the window without moving from my current window, then that speeds it up a little bit further. So let me, uh, um, let me show you how I've configured it by jumping to my config here. Um, here I've got a function that I borrowed off someone else's uh, uh, Emacs configuration that uh, splits the window and then switches to the next buffer. So instead of, it's kind of funny because it the, the like the in my thinking it refers to the previous buffer, but it's actually to the next buffer. Um, if you uh, if you you know the, 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 in terms of the function you call anyway so uh, this uses split window vertically or split w window horizontally which were the uh, uh, names for functions before we switched to calling them split window right and split window below much more, that makes much more sense actually the second uh second way of calling them anyway so it, it does that and then i use uh, the bind key package to set up my personal key bindings for it 
So that's that's actual window splitting on my part, but you can use the default window splitting if you like. As for um, wind move, okay. So wind move, wind move. Here. This is probably the most relevant bit. Uh, I'm trying to get the hang of wind move, uh, and so I set up a key map specifically for wind move related stuff. This one binds the arrow keys to left, up, right, and down. And uh, also, uh, someday when I get the hang of this, I might actually use the uh, Dvorak home row keys, H, T, N, and S. H, T, N, sort of. Um, was that the one? Yeah, H, T, N, and S uh, to, uh, to jump to different windows. Not quite there yet because Ace window tends to be easier for me to use. Uh, so this allows me to then set up a key chord, which is a two sentence, uh, sorry, two two character sequence that I type really quickly. Um, that just triggers that. So as I mentioned earlier, if I type YY really quickly and then I follow it within a cursor key, then it will move windows. The other uh, oh Ace window. Ace window was the other cool thing that I was showing you. So what Ace window does, as I mentioned, uh, is it allows you to uh, to use Ace. It, it allows you to jump to another window, or it also allows you to uh, to delete windows or swap windows using prefixes. That's what they're called. <laughs> okay, but the other cool thing, actually, speaking of Ace, by the way. Um, if you if you've got your windows here, you can also use Ace Jump mode to uh, jump to another window based on what you see there. So uh, I've set up Ace Jump uh, word mode to uh, my keyboard shortcut JJ. So if I type JJ and I want to jump to this one, all I have to type is JJ and then followed by the a character that begins a word in that window. So for example, if I type Y. I'll see here that all the words with Y in them, uh, with Y starting them, are highlighted and uh, and the first letter is replaced by a character that I can type to jump to that word, which coincidentally happens to be in another window. So I can jump to that window by simply typing uh, my keyboard shortcut for Ace Jump and then going to whatever word that it happens to be in that window. So Ace Jump actually looks at everything that's in the windows on your screen. So those are three things that I'm practicing in order to get better at switching between windows. There's wind move, which lets you use cursor keys or any other intuitive way to move between windows. There's ace window, which allows you to easily jump to, uh, swap, or delete windows. And then there's ace jump mode, which uh, allows you to jump to any word and it just so happens to be in a different window or whatever. So uh, yeah. Just getting the hang of those habits. The way that I'm learning these, by the way. So I write myself index cards um, with the keyboard shortcuts that I would like to get better at remembering to use. And then that means I can keep that underneath my uh, monitor and take a look at that every time I feel like there's something here that I should be doing better, but I'm currently uh, still getting the hang of it. So um, yeah, what Emacs micro habits are you working on, and what you would like? What would you like to see next?